Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Battle Brothers with me, Connors Knight. Last time we had a couple of tussles with bandits. Sorry, with some bandits and some goblins. It always takes a long time to get out of that, out of loading screens for towns, I find. Now I have seen some. I've been keeping an, a very close eye on the developers' blogs. There's some really nice stuff which is coming, folks. Really nice stuff. Escalation, all that, all that jazz, as they say. And it looks beautiful. Not worth it. Not giving me a good price for anything either. Uh, how's my party looking? How's the guy's hand? Two to one, another one to two days. Hmm. The irony is he's actually got a higher fight value. Well, if that's the case, I might just have to give him that for now. He can have that. Casper will be doing fine. Um, let's... Yeah, I might switch out the spear for him as well. I mean, spears aren't great against armor and the like, but it's good to keep enemies at bay with. Let's nip back and get this contract for dealing with this bandit camp, and we'll go and do that. Red Crest, a nearby hill, the settlers. The situation is dark and oddly sate on the rim like a reef of riffled black. Not only able to see who they are, you order your future brothers to hide away. An ambush might need to defend yourself, otherwise you stand. No chance against such mounted forces. As you select the mercenaries dip into the brass, the horsemen begin heading down the hill. The thunder of hooves grows louder, but you stand resolute, hoping to give your men a good show of bravery. You see that the bannerman is carrying a sigil half furar. Behind him, horsemen drag a traverse of a few sackled men on cargo. When the men arrive, their leader stands up between the withers of the horse and points at you, at you before talking mercenary. We have by the Lord's for the right to claim the sackled hands hands for Sir Wicked the Saddle. Said man said man is if your mitts he must pay for his crimes. Hand hand him over immediately and you will be rewarded. You turn your head and spit. You nod to the lawman before asking him a question. And whose authority do you have that there's a, there are a lot of lords in this land and not all of them pay me well. The, 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 lawman's, the lawman's captain sits back on his saddle, his hands crossed off his pommel, resting there with armed authority. He does not look like the least bit amused and forces his place of such. The punishment for willingly harbour refuses his death. You will be once more charged to release this criminal to me, or you shall face the fate well suited for a sword selling dog. You've got a drawing of the man you're after, let me have a look. The captain of the lawman snaps his fingers with one of the bannermen. He hands over a scroll with the captain and falls before handing it to you. The man you see looks remarkably like Wicked the Sato, but since you're being on the road and the mercenary has gained a few scars that separate his visage, visage from the one in the paper you use it, but they won't buy that so you lie instead the man you're looking for is dead he he was a criminal just as you said we found him thieving from our food Hawkin the third ran a sword for him when we found out the brothers look at you and then at the lawman who he, he nods that i did he had a mouthful of, of my bread when i s stuck him like a pig i saved the rest of the loaf for myself thank goodness the lawman chuckles amongst themselves the captain looks back at them his gaze is quite a quietening one he looks back at you you can see what why the set up his eyes are stern, unmoving, fierce, fierce, bleak, and black. The man holds you in a stare for nearly half a minute before he nods and gathers his reins. All right, mercenary, thank you for letting us know. The lawman packs up and heads back where, whence he came from. A sigh of relief passes over the company as a whole, and you order your men to hide in the brush to come out. It's a long road ahead, and hopefully there won't be any more trouble, like this one. So, who was the bloke we were, we were going to get into trouble for? Ah, uh, him. But he is a good fighter. I'd be loath to lose him. Right, let's go and deal with these bandits. I 
just don't want it to be a boss. The bosses in this game are horrible. Right, let's take it, accept the contract. Yeah, it's up here as I thought. We've got another camp, which is not great. I really don't want another fight a bandit boss. You'll see, I'm going to have to, but you'll see when we get there. They are not fun in the slightest. Well, let's just go to camp in the hills. And we'll approach it in the morning. What the? Totem Warts, once proud fortress, a makeshift encampment erected by goblins to sell to the status of supplies. Oh, we are having all the fun. See, look, many bandit raiders, or some bandit raiders, some bandit thugs, a bandit mugs, marksmen. Actually, that isn't too bad. But my goodness, there's a lot of badness up in these hills. Let's deal with them. Probably could be four raiders at least, and some bandit thugs. Boy, that's a bad position to be in. Let's jump back onto higher terrain. Yeah, well, he's got us on high. We need to get to high ground quickly before we th that crossbowman kills us all. feeling about this. We'll try and split them up if we can. Yeah, he's got a nasty one. I need to get him out. Take a shot at him. Ooh, nice shot. Hopefully if we kill enough of them, we can get them down off that hill of theirs. Let's pop a shot at him. Actually, he's a bigger threat. I want him dead. Uh, I don't like that guy. Let's take a shot at him. Ooh, lovely shot. Well done. Bunkle, you are a saint. When it comes to killing people, you are a saint at killing people. Grim, I know. Here really fast. Missed. Right. Need to get my guys reformed. He's hurt quite badly, actually, so I'm going to pull him back.
right there, Archer's down on low ground, I'm going to pummel him full of holes. He's going to look like a porcupine by the end of this. Really, that hit. Right. I need to fast shoot this guy if I can. Hit him. Cut his artery open. Nicely done. Right, I'm gonna suspend my turn. Right, we've got to charge. We'll charge down this side and catch them off guard while I reinforce this corner. Push them away. And shield warp. Right, let's go. I don't want anything happening to you. Let's send someone down here. These guys got to charge out towards the crossbowman. In the meantime, oh, that's not good. He's got to come around that way now. Oh dear! Didn't think that through. Pierced his shoulder. Well done. Right, we're going to push. Ah. Pierce his shoulder. the time to go. Kill off the weaker guys. We shall move in. That's not good. At least I'll break his shield open. You miss at that range. Right. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Right, we're going to kill him. Oh, try and kill him. him a crack. Right. Killed him. Lovely done. And let's return the favour with that shield, shall we? Pierced his hand. Lovely done, Casper. Archers have nothing to shoot at, so let's move them, shall we? And in that meantime, I'm gonna deal with you, Sunny Jim. Crack his open like a nut open, or his head open like a nut, India. Decapitate him, well done, Wiccaned. 
hopefully evil little crossbowman. Crack his shield open. He's fleeing. Push you. Don't really want to hit my own guy, so I'm just going to leave it. Oh, curses. Didn't mean to do that. Yeah, well done, Hawken. It's over. Oh, I should have probably killed the last guy. Curses. Oh, well. Got a little bit of stuff. Ooh, got some nice ingots and stuff. That's really nice. Let's see. A couple of injuries. rogue-looking. He needs a bit of patching up on me, thinks. Bit of TLC. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch him out. Uh, give him... Sorry, wrong thing. Rogue's going to be put on healing duty for a bit. So we'll give him that. He thinks it may, because uh, damage that ignores armor. Hmm. We got the contract done at least, so we get paid for that, that's nice. But no, um, there's some really nice stuff coming soon, like the escalation feature with the f with the factions like declaring war and taking over settlements and burning settlements to the ground, and oh, it looks fantastic, and the whole sort of locking on feature as well looks really nice, so you don't have to constantly click on the enemy. You know, I don't take kindly to your sort, but you did a good job, mercenary. Anton rep reported to me before you even got here that all the bandits have been slain. If some mighty fine work, by the way, he described it. Ah, well. He heaves a sat on the desk. Here's some mighty fine pay, as promised. I hate having to pay for medical things. Let's see what I can get for this stuff. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. That's not too bad. Sell some of the less quality gear. Money's looking okay. Nothing really worth picking up here. Don't have a blacksmith. I really want to know what this is the veterans for. Maybe you can get like really cool stuff out of it. Probably will. A few peasants walks up to you and one of them offers a hug. You decline. Good to see you again, Sellsword. Vulcan the merchant's been looking for you. I'm all ears. Vulcan the merchant subtle size for creating your hand before you even he or even you says a word. Look at that. A cargo need delivered has also has already found someone to sip it off. What, what how what wonder? He drops the theatrics. I need I need that taken to a mark, a man by the name of Dirtum the steward, um the steward. Dirt Helm the steward if he's waiting for you. It may look small, but I am willing to pay some good crowns to be sure that it gets there safe and sound. Are you interested? Or is it a little too heavy for your arms? 
Orn mark. Okay, how many cards was talking about? 100, 330. I want more completion. Okay, accept the offer. Let's leave. So where are we going? Where's Orn mark? Oh, it's just up there. It's fine. Simple job. And in the meantime, we can discuss escalations a bit more. Basically, you have three factions in the game. You have the green skins, you have the undead, and you have the human faction. Each one has a final like crisis situation, which is randomised at the beginning of the game, unless you deliberately ask for one particular event. Um, the orcs escalation is that if you don't basically keep the green skins down in good green skin fashion, they will basically start banding together into bigger and bigger war bands until they basically unleash a massive war and they will start burning down settlements like you can see up here. Um, settlement destruction is handled very differently in the update I've been told. For example, they want you to take the settlement proper until they destroy all the outlying features. So if you have a particular town that you love, it is recommended that you basically defend it periodically. The undead are a bit different. Um, they sort of have like some sub factions within them, and they sort of fight each other as the orcs do with the group with other green skins. But um, ooh, dire wolves. Maybe worth taking those guys on. Just get a little bit of extra XP. There's only six of them. He says. Engage the dire wolves. Oh, here they come. I do love the models. Right, let's, let's start suiting them, shall we? You missed. How did you miss at this range? Wait, aren't you on the shield, mate? Oh boy, this is bad. Right. Um, fall back. Get in and fill the gap. Oh boy, this is bad. What did I do this for? Shield walls. I could knock him off. Oh boy, this is not looking good. really bad, right. Right, quickly, we need to start killing these things as soon as we can. Oh, I thought I got that one that time. Come on, break the resolve. Oh, really? Killed it. Surround it on the hill. Oh, this not, may not be good. Oh no, they killed. S that was my own fault. So my own fault. I should not have done that. Can we get him? I 
get keep on getting greedy. It's not. I break its arm. That's not bad. This just keeps soaking up all my attacks. At least that, that one's broken, at least. You seriously can't hit it. Nice hit. God, these things are tough. didn't need to lose him, it was my own fault. I got greedy. And apparently my guy still can't shoot for Toffee. I <sighs> don't believe we've lost that guy, he was really good. Plus we lost his armour as well, which I'm not happy about. Uh, we've got no one that can easily take his place. Casper, perhaps? I mean, we could give him the gear. Move him here. Not happy about it. it was my own mistake. Should I take? Dodge is pretty useful for Axemen anyway. Um, time for the day ladies and gentlemen. Lost his character which I was a bit annoyed about for my own stupidity. Hmm. Ah well. Such is the life as the mercenary. I've been Cornish Knight. If you have liked please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe please press the subscription button. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter at the links provided below. Or you can leave a comment in the comment section and I will get back to you if you want to have a character included, that's the place to do it.
Get the money. I've been Cornish Knight. I shall catch you all next time. Goodbye.